everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about my favorite favorite brushes let's quickly head on to the video but before that if you're new to my channel hi i'm sharanya murali i'm a professional makeup artist if you're keen to watch my works bridal as well as other shoot works you can click on the instagram link that is given in the description box below if you like this makeup look i've already posted a tutorial of the same click the link in the i button above let's head on to the video my favorite brushes for personal use are these i really really love the quality of these brushes and how quick and easy it is to work with the first brush i'm going to be talking about is the pac 247 brush it's like an angled kabuki kind of a brush it's a dual fiber end and it's a synthetic brush it's very very easy to blend the foundation this in the website is listed as a contour brush but i use it for almost anything i use it to apply my foundation liquid as well as cream and it works well for contour obviously it works well for blush also i use it sometimes to apply my powder foundation like it blends anything and everything so really well this is a handy brush for mine i've been using it for like literally three years now and uh, like very recently these brush bristles have started coming out but that is because of wear and tear but these are very very easy to use very easy to clean and maintain as well this 247 is my lazy days brush i use it for anything and everything like for all my base products i use just this brush sometimes the next brush i'm going to be talking about is also a pac brush it's pac 2 and 9 brush this brush is a concealer brush it's a small fluffy kind of a brush so i use it for contour as well it's very easy to work and it's easy to get into the corners of the eye and everything so i use it for concealing as well as contour the next brush that i'm going to be talking about is a elf brush it's elf fluffy eye blender brush so this was supposed to be a um, blending brush for the eyeshadows i use it for transition blending and literally blending my crease and everything other than that i also use this brush for my nose contours it's pretty easy to work around this i also use it for highlighting the next one that i'm going to be talking about is the real techniques eyeshadow blending brush this is forever my crease brush it's a very small thin brush it has kind of a pointed tip direct it and position my eyeshadow in the crease alone and uh, it's very easy to blend it in the crease and in the small portions like in my outer corner and under the eyes and stuff like that so this is a very 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 useful brush the next brush that i'm going to be talking is this elf highlighter brush i use this brush for literally anything other than highlighter this is too huge for a highlighter according to me this one is a fluffy tapered brush it's got a little bit of this pointing end i use this brush to powder my face especially if i'm using a loose setting powder i just like to take this and press it in my skin this works really really well for that purpose i also use this as a blush so simply smile and blush the cheeks on so this works really well for these two purposes the next brush that i'm going to be talking about is the eyeliner brush this is a vega lip liner brush it's got a thin pointed tip it's easy to draw the liner with this brush i also use this brush to line my lips sometimes get the glitter liner on my crease or um, sometimes i like to draw the glitter liner in below my eyes and for all these purposes this brush is really really useful i also draw the bindi with this brush like especially for my brides when they want different styles of bindis i draw the bindis with this brush last brush that i'm going to be talking about is maybelline eyeliner brush this is a brush that i got it free with the maybelline gel liner the pot liner this brush flat brush but a pointed tip since it has this pointed tip it gives a sharp wing liner it works really well to line my lips so i love this brush i got it free of cost and i will tell you this is the best thing that i've got free of cost two other brushes that i want to mention here both these brushes are from color bar so these are used that's the reason why they look so soiled easy to clean them that is one big advantage of these brushes it's easy to clean and maintain them i've been having them for over two years now and literally there is no fall of hair this brush is a flat brush and it was supposed to be a eyeshadow brush i use it for concealer like in case of if there is any spillage of lipstick i use this to clean around the lips i use it to clean around the eye shadow as well i also use this brush to place the eye shadow a glitter shadows alone in the center it's got this semi circle kind of a shape for the bristles so it works well for the cut crease this angular brush is like my go to brush to cut these sharp wing liners i use it for too many things like i use it for a wing liner i use it to draw my eyebrows i use it to clean around my lips clean around the wing liner to even cut out the crease and to blend the concealer in few places which is like very very small like here and around my nose in such places i even use this to blend out the concealer this one works amazing so these are my favorite favorite brushes i literally have a handful of them that i use for my personal purposes other than that I 
I have like another pouch full of brushes that I use on my brides, but these are my favorite personal brushes. So if you like this video, give a thumbs up, like, share and comment on the video, subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Subscribing to my channel means a lot to me, you're supporting me by doing that. So until the next video, bye!